Hello everybody, Cyanesk111 here, and welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light as the Kestrel A. We're doing the fourth run of this ship, and in case you're wondering why there is a Lania scout on screen, I was too into this game uh, to do my outro in the last part at the end, but I'm just going to ignore that for now. Uh, I'm sorry. I tried to explain it in the fastest way I can, but it all just started falling apart about halfway through. That was silly of me. Sorry. I won't do it again. The charts indicate that this was the location of a small skirmish over a military facility on a nearby moon. Oddly, scans pick up no signs of debris from either the battle or the station. Yet another area sucked dry by the Lanius. You arrive to see a well-armed Lanius craft preparing to salvage a badly damaged rebel patrol ship. Noticing your arrival, the Lanius greedily moves into an intercepted second target of the day. Looks like you should have chosen another second target of the day. I'm going to defend myself. Whether you like it if I do that or not. You receive a message from the enemy ship that your translator struggles to intercept. Penitence for metal, offering intention. You're sucking this place dry, and I'm not forgiving you for this. I took out their shields, at least. I didn't take them out, take them out. I'll do... Three... One... Two... I'm going to this one. You arrive to find large Lanius vessel laden with recently collected material. They're apparently offering to trade for supplies they are lacking. I think I can get some of that fuel back. So it's... How much for fuel? I got 25 scrap from that. I lost 3 fuel. This beacon is bustling with activity. It looks like some merchants decided to capitalize on the fact that dozens of refugee ships are using this location to recharge their FPL drives. You browse their wares. Okay, so that's... Yeah, that was a failure. fair deal. I can get one more crew member. And I'm going to make that... Um... I'm gonna make that Jose the rock crew member. You're going to... Yeah, I'm gonna send you to the shields with Alex and Ruwen. Station saved. I can get to the exit from here fast enough. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found at the database. You land a small shuttle in an enormous field, whose only occupants are small, brightly colored, six-legged, horse-like animals. That's the Mantis. After a moment, your crew tells you that these are simple beings, who enjoy a peaceful life. However, this isn't the first time a ship has landed here. They inform you of a nearby crash site. You follow their directions and discover an ancient NG ship. You find a deactivated NG inside and reroute power from your shuttle to resuscitate it. After a while, it reboots, rebuilds itself, and offers to join your crew. But I already have... enough crew. I think I may need the increased repair speed. 
as opposed to the engines. Uh, sorry, Alex. It's been a good run with you. Uh, it pains me to see a decent crew member go. A rebel autonomous scout is exploring this beacon. You attempt to hide behind a nearby moon, but the ship finds you and begins its assault. Oh no, 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 you don't. You're destroying my shields with the hacking. Seriously? You miss? Now, of all times? There we go, you took it out some. I can take this out, no problem. Oh, you missed again. I'm wasting missiles at this point. Seriously. At least you're down, now. Oh, those scrap rewards are getting pretty high now. A small asteroid belt is near this jump beacon. It must be mineral rich since Alania's ship is docked on a large rock, slowly absorbing parts of it. You could probably get their attention pretty easily. And I'm getting their attention by battling them. in hopes of defeating them for some more scrap. And wait, the whole laser goes here for double damage. Oh, I still wish to fight you. Your comms system receives a video feed of the enemy ship's crew waving small makeshift white flags. It appears they have taken research about your customs culture. Your culture's customs, quite literally. You know what? They've... They really know about my culture's customs? What should I do? Alright, I'll accept your offer. I never expected for the Lanius here to be quite cultured. Or knowledgeable about our culture, at least. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking to help... for help to fix or disable it. The NG crew is always the right way to go. Wow, look at all that scrap I have. Oh. War intruders. An image of some weak and hungry humans comes onto your screen. Those metal bastards think they can just absorb half of our engines and leave us here to die? I hope you understand the need to take your ship by force. No, I'm not going to understand at all. You're doing a very bad thing. Very bad. Unforgivable. Teldoran is about to die. Get out of here, the rest of you. Finish them off. Now get to work repairing. I'll have you heal. 
before we move on. Angie, I thought I told you to stay in the shields. Station saved. Hopefully for the last time this game, because we're coming at the end game. I got an ion charger. Wow. A small merchant ship messages you. Underground Federation comm channels are all talking about your secret mission. Let us install a weapon to help. Good luck. Oh baby, look at all that scrap. I guess after I explain my mission, I should upgrade some of my stuff for the final battle. You arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past initial security and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Turzel of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. The rebel flagship. Tully responds. It's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. Your current outpost can provide some repairs and fuel, and the other repair stations can provide aid as well. Good luck. Thank you. I'll need it in this endgame. Gotta renew my throat for the voice. For shields. Yes. The Rebel flagship is all the way over there. The base is right here. I can stock up some. A large host of Federation heavy vessels are in formation around the beacon. Sensors run hot with missile locks, but once you transmit your ship signature, they leave you alone. Well, I'm saved. And we're in a battle. You don't have any time to worry about the battle in the distance. The fight is coming to you really quickly. Anything I'll do to help them. Even if it's only just one ship taken down. You took out my med base. You, my med bay, I meant. Please hit this time. Ugh, damn it! Just hit this thing. You hit it at least. Oh no, there's a fire. Hurry up and put it out, please. out. Close all the doors and wait for the oxygen to refill. Now you can take out the weapons. Pretty much. Ah, there we go. Sweet relief, for now. Even though some of the scrap drifts my way, there's no time to salvage anymore. Okay. Am I going to have enough to upgrade the engines? Oh! Just that and nothing else. I had just enough! 
Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FPL to recharge. More fuel? Not very useful right now. I have to destroy this flagship before it's too late. Federation ships are scarce in this region of space despite a number of civilian space stations. You see a small bomber squadron with engaged with some Federation scouts and quickly move in to assist. I guess that would reward me some. They have multiple attack drones. That's going to be a problem. Well, I took out one of the drones at least. Okay, everyone's still alive. So far. Just take out their shields. Okay, there we go. The auto assault is down. Oh, it's gonna take out this repair thing too. Oh no. This is so bad. Scrap recovery arm. What does that do? I don't remember. Allows the ship to collect 10% more scrap from any source. It's gonna take out all of the repair beacons in this sector. Oh, that is bad. Um, ion charger. This is it. Time to fight the Rebel Flagship once again. Wish me the best of luck. I want to make my initial aims. I don't have very much to help me. Artemis can go on shields. Might as well take out the... No, wait. I want to save my laser weapons when the shields go down. Okay, so all three on weapons missed. Ion shots. Oh no, dear me. Okay, the beam weapon can't get through my shield in its current state. Only one ion shot has hit. Stop shooting the laser weapons for now, please. The shields are back at their shields are back at full health. Oh no, this is bad. Oh, there goes my Oh no. I'm scared. I'm probably not even going to make it to the second phase. Oh, you cloaked! Oh, 
will go two of my crew members. Something you've gotta expect. Oh no, I'm, I'm sorry, what? Emma. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I think this crew is done for. Oxygen... Freaking... Ah, oh, there go my NG members. Yeah, it's all just downhill from here. my pilot system again. They're cloaking again. Yeah. They're probably gonna take me out, but the, they're gonna take me out again with the next volley of missiles. Oh, you're seriously telling me I have to repair my weapons again? So it's not going to really matter, and there I go. I'm still hearing repair sounds even though the ship has been torn apart. Just as always, I'm dead. The death of my ship was the same as all ships throughout all my recorded playthroughs. Not once have I recorded a single victory of FTL faster than Might. But I had to play this again since I was long overdue for more playthroughs of this game. I'll do one more playthrough of this for right now, this time as a ship that I have never shown off for this channel yet. But that'll have to wait for another day. I'll try to get my courage up and try this again. That'll wait for right now. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Don't really have anything much to say here. Left. Bye-bye!